One of the highlights of our year here at the Federal Reserve Bank of Philadelphia is our Making Sense of Money and Banking class. And we have K-12 teachers, so elementary, middle, and high school teachers, who come here each year in the fourth week in July for our Making Sense of Money and Banking class. And in that class, we're teaching them how to teach about money, about banking, about the Federal Reserve and its roles in monetary policy, supervision and regulation of banking, and the payment system. We give them lots of lessons for teaching about the characteristics and functions of money, about the role of banks in our economy, about how banks work. Um, we're looking at how money is created. Um, we look at the tools of monetary policy and the Fed's role in implementing monetary policy. Uh, we also have speakers from around the bank who come and talk about supervision and regulation of banks, um, about our role in the payment system. Um, it's a really exciting opportunity to have 30, 40, 50, 60 teachers come here for a week and in learn it pretty intensively how it is to, to teach about money and banking in their own classrooms. We have breakout sessions for the elementary school teachers, for the middle school teachers, for the high school teachers, where they're focusing on lessons that they can use right away in their own classrooms to teach students that are of the appropriate age uh, various aspects of money and banking. Another special part about Making Sense of Money and Banking is that we cover the history of central banking in the United States. So from the time when uh, Benjamin Franklin landed here in the early uh, 1700s here in Philadelphia, all the way up through uh, the modern day, we're looking at the history of how banking, and particularly central banking, uh, really came along. So we go over, we visit the first bank of the United States, that's an important part of our program each year, and the National Park Service is really great about giving us access and taking us to see uh, the first bank of the United States, the second bank of the United States. The chief curator does an excellent job of describing how these buildings that are now part of Independence Park, how they really reflect um, the nature of banking in the 18th century and the early 19th century, as well as talking about how those buildings are used today.